next time I come out here, I'm gonna come out for like a month. I'm trying to live the best Miami life, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so I've been in the studio so much that I haven't really had time to like check out Miami, but I was told to check out two restaurants. A Careta, if I said that right. And Versailles. So here we go. They're right next to each other too. Clever. Clever little business thing. But here we go. Yo, I got a feeling this is about to be bomb. Now to go to the competitor. I don't know if it's effed up. I feel like I'm gonna find out soon if people are like, no, you never go to Cayeta. However you say it, I don't know. Or you never go to Versailles. I don't know. We'll see. Just trying. Yeah, trust me. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see who's better. Versailles. Got. Ta, how do you say? Cayeta. La careta. La careta. Yeah, he's like Spanish. I just live in Miami all my life, so. Yeah. Anyway, and then so Cal G is like. <laughs> like I don't know what you're saying, but this fine. They sent me a beat that they picked out, mm. and they want some old three Bonnie and Clyde. Yes! I've been waiting to do a song like that for forever. But it's a Spanish vibe. So but, what? No, I'm just no, I'm just setting it up for you. This is yeah. kind of want to kill you vibe when I put it on. You're like, no, what I expect. No, I'm like, I'm excited about the topic. I'm not no. even like worried about the melody. Right now. Two hours later, you came from that, that yeah. Anglo-Saxon. Anglo exactly. Yeah, I'm right with you, bro. You're damn smart for your own good. <laughs> Usually, songwriters don't be that smart. Uh, <laughs> I'm like mad. I'm like mad, mad nerdy. Like I know on That's the outside. Dope, I look kind of cool, but like. He's like, I look kind of cool. <laughs> but what like, mm -hmm. yo, this plantain good, but Ber Versailles is better. Yeah, like I said, like I said, it's the play, it's the, it's the normal, it's the usual. Uh -huh. Cute right. food, you know, like, like it's good. Yeah. And if I wouldn't have had Versailles, I would be all in. But like, even like the, the garlic onion thing, that comes with the plantain chips. Yeah. Like, Versailles is better. Two hours later. Like with startups, it's like the hardest thing in the world. Right. It really is. Like, thing, like entrepreneurship or whatever, it's not glamorous whatsoever. No, it's totally not. People world. always want to be entrepreneurs because they see like, oh, you're traveling and you're your own boss and blah, blah, blah. Oh, and you're like, yeah, you know bruh, you do you know <laughs> the buck stops with me though? Like, that's what you don't realize. Exactly. Like, everybody else goes home exactly. and I'm and still here exactly. grinding, doing the thing I need to do. Like, that's what you don't get. Exactly. Like, right now, like, I've, I've been in Miami the whole week, right? Yeah. And I realized I have not gone out once. Once, I haven't seen any part yeah, of Miami since I've been here. Yeah, like it feels like you gotta choose. With this right. You gotta choose and it's a hard choice always, but you gotta choose. Yeah. I hit the city without, I hit the city without you. 